Capybaras are well known for being the chillest guys in the animal kingdom. I mean, just look at them. But why is this? Why are they so chill? First off, they don't have to pay taxes. Does this look like a man who declares 20% of his Benjamins? Does this look like a guy who is concerned about the pesky VAT on imported Chinese cigarettes? Does this look like a man who's deeply considering the purchase of a shed in Malta to evade the thieving bureaucracy? No, not a care in the world. He doesn't even know how hard that hot bath hit in the meter. Secondly, capybaras are native to the Amazon forest. So Colombia, Brazil, Bolivia, and Peru. And it's no secret that these countries are home to the chillest, sleepiest, and most relaxed laid back people on the planet. In this part of the world, the saying on time has a two hour leeway. The food literally has magical sleep inducing abilities and everyone's pretty unfazed about life's problems. Money, politics, the internet, which leads me on to my next point. Due to the slow speed of internet in the Bolivian marshlands, capybaras haven't yet uncovered Yeet's raw ad-libs. But despite all this, capybaras do have a bunch of predators. So why aren't they like stressed? Well, their ancestors had it pretty good, being a lot smaller and migrating to South America when doing that was still original. And back then, South America had a lot more vegetation to hide in and the animals weren't so compacted together. So they learned not to be too anxious and to get any adverse emotions out on their family members, not other species. I had a lick to help my mama I mean, older capybaras have even been known to adopt young animals and raise them to capy adulthood. Anyway, it's the 1900s, capybaras have fully evolved into these large beasts and just exist, chilling in the depths of the Amazon, until in the 80s, Izu Shiboten Zoo in Japan decided let's put these capybaras in some traditional hot baths, entrapping these rodents into a life of eternal relaxation. And boom, the Japanese went crazy over it, and for 30 years, the hype was a pretty niche Japanese thing, up there with waifus and wasabi, until...